Arsenal 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 0. Hello and welcome to Ganus Daily YouTube channel where I'm covering all the latest Arsenal news and everything that is happening around the club. Big three points for us, hard for three points and a crucial win to continue our great run of form, minus the Aston Villa loss, obviously. But who cares, that's all behind us. We have taken three points once again and we threw the ball back to Liverpool to see if they can respond before the big game next week. There were no changes in our starting 11, it was the same starting 11 from the Aston Villa game and by taking a look at our bench and our current situation with injuries, it was probably the best lineup we currently have. With uh, Leandro Chossard, Eddie Nketiah, Emil Smith-Rowe and Rhys Nelson coming on in the second half. So, no surprises there. Okay, where to start? I'll start by praising Martin Odegaard, who's received plenty of criticism lately for absolutely no reason. And game after game he keeps proving us that he's one of the best players at his position in the league. I just wish he scored a goal today, I think he definitely deserved it. And also, it's his birthday today, so it would have been great if he celebrated with a goal. But who cares, we won and let's hope he'll score against Liverpool at Anfield. All in all, praise to Martin Odegaard, great performance for him. Like I said, it was a tough game, fair play to Brighton, they stood their ground, but I think we had the opportunities to end this game a lot earlier. Couple of missed chances and plays that on some other day we would have turned into goals, but that's football. I watched quite a few games from Brighton this season, and I have to say that Arsenal today managed to completely shut them down and assert dominance from the first minute. Brighton kept fighting in the first half, they were organized, they gave the maximum and in the end they kept a clean sheet after the final whistle in the first half. So finally, at the start of the second half, to be more precise, in the 51st minute of the second half, we broke the deadlock. With Gabriel Jesus scoring one of the easiest goals he'll score all season. But let's be honest, we absolutely deserved that goal. We were the better side throughout the whole 45 minutes and we deservedly took the lead. I think it was clear to everyone at this point that this would be a game that Arsenal will end with three points. Only question, uh, only question was how many will we score? And just like that, attack after attack, in the 87th minute, Kai Havertz once again scored a great goal to put the game to bed and to confirm three points for the Gunners. Not gonna lie, I'm really happy for him, it was a cool finish, cool and collected from our German machine and just like that. I was a lot more calmer, and we easily managed to bring the game to the end. Uh, what else? You know what, you know what impressed me the most in today's performance? It's the fact that teams like this, teams like Brighton and Hove Albion, have caused us so many problems these past few years. I mean, if I'm not wrong, they've beaten us four times at the Emirates since Arteta took over, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. So it was empowering and, inf and refreshing to see us dominate today without any problem from minute one. I think today's game was a true testament to the point that we, this young Arsenal team, has grown so much in these last few years. To the point that we are easily putting games like this to the bed without any problem. You can say a lot of things about Mikel Arteta and you can say that he didn't make a right decision about this or that. But one thing that you can't take away from him is that he turned us to a real serious tough side that knows how to win every time they step on the pitch against every single opponent. He spread that mentality and energy across the whole team because I don't want to go so far back to the past but during the Wenger days we used to lose games like this with ease and believe me I'm saying this as someone who watches like most of you I guess Every single Arsenal game, and I've seen us have some dreadful and catastrophic performances throughout the years against teams like this, and specifically against Brighton and Hove Albion. We are moving up, we are going places, and this Arsenal squad is on the right path to achieve big things in the future. We just have to keep trusting and, build, uh, and building around this core of players, and you know what? The future is bright. I don't really know what else to say. This was just one of those games where you don't have much things to talk about. Honestly, when I look back at this game, I think we should have won this by a three goal difference, at least. Fair play to Brighton. On their day, they can beat every team in the league, probably. And overall, they play some great football. But today, Arsenal was just on another planet. Complete control and domination. 
We are truly becoming a top, top quality club with how we perform week in and week out and how easily we control the possession against most of these so-called top teams. But let's move on to our next game, and that is Liverpool away next week. I've been saying this since the beginning of December, that it is crucial for us to enter that game on a high note. Bear in mind, at the time of recording this, Liverpool-Manchester United starts in about 15 minutes. So, I don't know what will be the outcome of that game, but for the first time ever, probably, I want United to actually do good and at least hold them out to draw. Then, when we go to Anfield next week, we will be even more hungry and motivated to win. But, knowing Man United and how shit they've been this season, they will probably get absolutely battered and demolished. So, I'm not too optimistic about that. Useless as usual. Other than that, things are looking good for us after today's win. Till the end of the month, we now have Liverpool away, West Ham at home and Fulham away. Of course, I fully expect us to win against West Ham and Fulham and to continue our great round of form against our London opponents. But Liverpool game is key and we will be a lot smarter after the final whistle at Anfield. So, on that note, let's just take a quick look at some of your comments on my post after the game. User says, I'm glad we were able to make up for the missed chances we had in the first half. That's true, we had a lot of chances, but we simply couldn't manage to turn them into goals. One of those days, one of those games, but in the end, who cares, like I said, we won. Ruben2000 says, Chelsea almost destroyed Havertz's career, but Tateta and Arsenal came from nowhere to save him. Dude is finally finding his form. I agree, he's finally finding his form and he's been absolutely brilliant for us for this uh, past, what, month, two months, something like that. He's scoring goals, he's all over the pitch, he's trying. Great work by him, I just hope he'll continue to build on that. N30 says, send the goo flying home, our boys are the best. Stiegelberg says, 60 million down the dray, Kai Howard scores again, ah, 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 ah. And Hype and YouTube says, Martinelli doesn't know how to pass across, he's a pace merchant who loves showboating, glad we won despite of that. And that is basically it for today's video. Sugunus, tell me, what are your thoughts on our performance against Brighton and Hove Albion? Who was your man of the match? Write down in the comments, because I'm really interested to hear you out. Once again, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.